Hello everybody, boys beautiful out here. I want to tell y'all a little story today. I remember years ago we used to come out here fishing in beautiful Lake Barrett. We'd take these, we'd have like a skiff, you know, it's the pointed nose boat or a little bat tow or something. And I go to fishing every time I had to use the paddle, use the paddle, use the paddle, all the time. Never did have a trolling motor. Didn't have the money for a trolling motor. We'd go fishing, me and Miss P. Ma and Vicky and Corey, and uh, go from one cypress tree to another. We'd take the paddle out. And and one day I told him, I said, you know what? I'm going to buy me a brand new boat with a trolling motor on it. That way I ain't got to paddle no more. Man, it get hot out there and you're paddling that old boat. Man, y'all know what it's all like. So one day I told him, I said, let's go get one. So we went to, to town and I told him, I said, look, I want a brand new boat with a trolling motor on it. I want to be able to put it on there and go without doing any paddling. I'm done with paddling. I'm going to sell my paddle on eBay, I guarantee you. So we went, man, and we looked at some boats and everything. We finally picked one out. It's called a Cajun Special. Had the trolling motor, man, the seats all, man, the carpet, brand new motor and everything. Man, we were so excited that day to get that boat. We hooked to it and everything, man. We're going from, from the city back to the bayou with it, man. We just sitting there and I was looking in the rear view mirror. I could see that brand new trolling motor back there on that boat. I said, boy, 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 no more paddling for me. So we come to Lake Verrett. What well, matter of fact, we was right out here and I put the boat in at uh, Shell Beach right there. Man, brand new boat started right up and I didn't have to spray ether in it and work on the spark plugs or overhaul the engine just to go fishing, you know? And I told her, I said, boy, this is nice. Man, we'll come across that lake wide open, man. Speed armor. I said, golly, look at here. We finally found out how fast we're going. Man, everything's just right, man. Everything's just right. Get on the other side of the lake. Matter of fact, we were sitting right out there with that bird flying right there. And see that stuff out there? Matter of fact, it was underwater. So we sat there and everything, man, I get there and everything, get all the rods out, and I said, man, look at this. I had a brand new seat up there with a trolling motor, and I seen this foot thing that hooked to the trolling motor. I said, man, I guess I'm about to steer that trolling motor with my foot. I said, I didn't know how to do that, so what we did, we put it, I told her, I said, look at this. So I took the trolling motor, put it overboard, and I told her, I said, take that paddle and just get rid of it. I don't want it. I'm not paddling another boat. I'm done with that. I done graduated from that. So we're sitting there and they had all kind of gadgets and gadgets and buttons on that foot thing. I said, man, I don't know. So we set it the best we could. And I said, well, here we go. Well, I didn't know you were supposed to lock the trolling motor down. And I didn't know it had high speed, low speed, and medium speed. Well, I didn't lock the trolling motor down and I did not set it on low. That thing was on high speed. When I set that thing on, it took off out of the water flying and jumping. And you, Miss P. Mo and Vicky and all them run to the back of the boat. And they were just sitting back there and didn't know what to do. The trolling motor was bouncing up out of the water. I'm sitting on that seat, spinning everywhere, trying to figure out what I'm going to do about it. And all of a sudden, it went down. And when it did, the boat just started taking off. I didn't go maybe 10 feet, 5 feet, and I hit a stump and throw the trolling motor off the boat and it went to the bottom of the lake. And I'm sitting there in that seat. I said, now look at this. Miss P. Mo, you know what she told me? You want to paddle? So guess what? I had to go back to paddling. Brand new boat, $15,000 for a boat, and I was paddling it again. Can you imagine that? Ripped the trolling motor, brand new trolling motor, off the boat, and it went to the bottom of the lake. What luck, huh? So I tell you what, I didn't paddle. I cranked the motor up, I pulled up to the first tree and tied it up. We fished there. The trolling motor, I finally dished it back out of it. It was all tore to pieces, broke the brackets off of it. The wheel, it was all skinned up. So I took it back to the man I bought it from. He said, man, what happened to that trolling motor? Did a train run over it? Don't even want to talk about it, sir. Just give me a new one. He said, you, it, it ain't to show me some pointers on it. But that just goes, you showed right there. We even had a good time, you know? No, no, we didn't, I promise you. I was a little bit burnt out, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just wanted to share that with you, see if that's ever happened to you. Like I said, we were right out there, but we caught some fish that day, but I did paddle, I'm gonna say right now. I'm glad I didn't sell that paddle on eBay, I guarantee you. Like I said, I just wanted y'all to look how beautiful it is out here in Lake Verrett. P Malls is exactly across the lake right there. P Malls Bay Shack is right across the lake there. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you happen to be over here fishing right now and you got to, if you, you need bait and all that, don't go this way and put your boat on and come around. Just go straight across the Shell Beach, call P Mall, and we'll bring your bait to the landing. Can you beat that? I guarantee you can't beat that. Y'all need to get down here. It's so beautiful out here on Lake Brett. I just want to give y'all a beautiful shot out here. Look at these cypress trees. It's just really, really beautiful out here. I guarantee you. There's nothing like it in the whole world. I want to give a big thanks to everybody for your support and everything. I just wanted to share that story with you. I guarantee you. See you later.